The Vulcan Vault, along with some very special guests, are on a search for forgotten horror flicks and underappreciated monster movies. Ain't It Cool News presents Ain't It Scary Reviews, a month-long exploration of terror. Welcome to Ain't It Scary Reviews. I'm John Airy. Today we got Brian of Vulcan Video. Hello. Brian, what have you picked out? I picked the Ray Dennis Deckler masterpiece, The Lemon Grove Kids Meet the Monsters trilogy. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, Ray Dennis Deckler, of course, is sort of like the home made, you know, like horror hero. You know, like he just made movies despite lacking in some talent and money and whatever it doesn't matter because he wanted to make movies so bad he just did it and they're all brilliant and he mostly made movies that i guess you would call more straight like more scary like the trooper aka blood check uh, or the incredibly strange creatures who became mixed up zombies but i i love lemon grove kids the most it's it's his homage to the bowery boys film slash uh east side kids uh, dead end uh kids and so it's him playing the Hunts Hall character and kind of corralling all the dads in his in his neighborhood to act in this movie and it really does feel like when you watch the movie like a like a Sunday barbecue spontaneously just like turned into a horror film and I'm sure that's exactly what happened it really is just like all the dads of the neighborhood wearing these costumes like chasing vampires and Martians and it's just so endearing and powerful because it just it just inspires you to be like if this guy can just like get these like people at a picnic barbecue to just start making a movie like why are we making a movie right now like why can't we anybody just go make a great movie like at a moment's notice because it really feels like eating hot dog hey what do you want to do today let's make a monster movie i got this film i got this like let's do it i got these costumes and they did it and it's amazing it's so good and it's very uh, slapstick fill, which is always a plus, and, and homemade slapstick is not a thing you often find. It's not a thing that like unta untalented, untrained people attempt to do, but when they do, it's still great because someone falling down is still funny, whether you did it for a hundred years on stage or the first time ever at a, at a Sunday barbecue. And uh, the fir it's, it's in three segments. And the first segment is them. There's like this vampire lady and this Martian. <laughs> and the Martian shows up in this big spaceship and supposedly it's this thing that Ray Dennis Tickler found on the side of the road. He was just driving around and saw this like old alien spaceship looking prop and just was like, let's grab that, put it in the truck, let's make a movie. And also, Clearly, all of their children are in this movie, too, so it's all these non-actor kids, like, kind of very little rascals type of takes where they will react, and then there'll be kind of, like, an extra long pause, you know, unnecessary pause before the next scene, so it'll be like, oh, boy, and then, like, kind of a looking around while they're waiting for <laughs> someone to tell them that the scene's over, and then, but it's all in the movie. Hi, Gopher! Hi! Hi, kids! Where you been? We're at the zoo! I saw all the animals! Yeah, lots of fun! And it's so good. It's so it's real quick. It's real fast. Uh, my favorite segment is where they're breaking into the vampire lady's house, and there's also a coven of witches in there. Mm -hmm. And there's a part where they decide by moving in, they're gonna like drag their faces like on the dirt, and that's how they crawl. Is like by having their faces just like just like in the ground, like crawling through this like uh, basement. It's real strange. Like I think it's supposed to be funny, and it is, but it's very weird. It's a very weird version of horror and slapstick mixed together. Uh, and then there's a great story where they have to do this sort of a cross town race, and it gets that gets real crazy, and it actually gets kind of experimental on some of the uh, shots. And and Steckler's. Uh, said that he's a big Antiononi fan and you can definitely see some of that in there you can see a little bit of like the passenger or something in, in this movie and it's just them like running around uh doing this crazy race there's this amazing kind of like choreographed i guess fight sequence under a highway overpass but it's a lot of like weird almost like people acting in slow motion and then just like it's just all these dads in these like two small costumes just pretending to punch each other under this freeway overpass and then uh, this amazing part where they, they run into like a monster pl place and there's like these crazy strobe lights and there's there's like these guys in a rubber mask runner. It's, it's, it's like so 
like true Halloween. Like it has that true Halloween fun uh, spirit to it. And then there's a third story, and then I, I always skip that one. That don't don't watch that one. I, I think luckily, I think it might be the last one or something. Thing is turn it off. Maybe it's in the middle. Just skip a chapter. Then when there's no monsters, it's just like there's a kidnapping or something. It's yeah. not as fun as you want it to be. But it's so. This is so good, and it, you should watch it and then be inspired to just make your own monster movie. Just like get a Halloween costume for like a dollar and run out there and just do it. Like for no money, and who cares if only your friends see it. Because maybe someday everyone will see it, like with this movie coming on DVD. Like, I don't know who this was made for. I don't know <laughs> where he showed it or how he thought that it could be shown somewhere. Because it's, like, really extra homemade than the yeah. usual, like, low-budget horror film. Wow. But brilliant. Gee, I wonder why she did that. Because she's a vampire, that's why. Why? Well, yeah. Is there anything you would compare it against? <sighs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, it's... I mean, it can only, like, Ray right Dennis Steckler movies, you can really only compare to his other movies. They're not like anything. Like, you could say they're similar to, like, the spirit of, like, classic comedy or classic horror, because he was definitely a fan of that. But it was through this weird filter through his brain, and the way it comes out is, like, wholly original and amazing. And he made these kind of movies till the day he died. Like, you, if you go to his website, I think his family or somebody still sells. Like, he made a movie in the 80s called Summer Fun, which I th- I'm assuming is, like, some of the same sort of thing. Uh, he made just homemade film noir and, like, you know, like, adult films and horror films and action films. And he just, like, did it because he wanted to do it. And he is a true cinematic genius. <laughs> So we got the Living Grove Kids Meet the Monsters trilogy. Yeah. Good pick, Brian. Awesome. Thank you. Happy Halloween. <laughs> and for more news and reviews, keep checking in with AinitCool.com. Lemon Grove, Lemon Grove, Lemon Grove, Lemon Grove.